you can download the full thing off uh, don't know the website its name but I'm going to show you how to do it today now you will need a torrent downloader as it requires you to download it through this um, I would suggest using uTorrent or BitTorrent either one is okay um, you will need power ISO which I'm going to show you how to get and of course the file you will also need a blank DVD uh, me yeah blank DVD preferably a 4.7 gigabit one and it's got to be rewritable or you don't have to have it rewritable but if you want to that'd be great anyway you will need to on oh, what I do that you will need to download power ISO first up so when I go ahead and type in power ISO press search and I would recommend going straight down to download power ISO and I'm going to press download now and install it if you want to use the virtual disk drive you will need to restart the computer and then just go right into power ISO continue just go to mount set number of drives I've put mine on one and you'll have a drive here okay next I'll show you how to get both uTorrent and BitTorrent so actually I don't need to it's pretty straightforward just type in uTorrent go to download BitTorrent download very easy very simple to do you can also use Vues but I wouldn't really recommend it um, next off we're going to open up the browser again and go to driver pack solution go ahead I will type in driver pack solution 12.3 and you'll see this little highlight over here I'm feeling lucky just press on it and you go straight to the website now there is the don't be fooled there is the driver pack solution 12.3 light and the full version and what I'm going to recommend you to use is the full version and we're going to download this torrent I've already downloaded it this is what uTorrent and BitTorrent look like they're basically identical just with a different color scheme it's taken a long time to load There's something stuffing up with my computer so I'm just gonna get rid of that close the program it doesn't ha it doesn't happen at all really you can go ahead and close this once the torrent is finished go ahead and close this I'll leave it there then now I've I downloaded it on my Windows XP laptop and I just stuck it in here for the purposes of um, just showing you you'll end up with these this is the driver pack solution folder uh, running this application will give you uh, the driver pack solution in this tutorial I'm going to show you how to uh, just burn it onto the um, a DVD we're gonna need to find a bootable disk image I've decided to show you how to um, make a bootable disk image so it boots right up to order play on Windows 7 and on Windows XP it will just open up straight away so we're gonna go to www.alldiskbootimage don't think that was right all boot disks www.all boot disks dot com slash download slash iso dot html oh it's already there didn't see it 
Now opening this up, I'll put a link in the description, by the way. I'll put a link in the description to every single one of those files that I've mentioned in the video. And what we're going to want to do is go down to DOS 6.22 boot disk ISO and we're going to want to download it. So after downloading it, it's only 3 megabytes. I'm going to copy and paste it to my desktop for a second. Now I'm just going to rename it. Uh, bootable. Boot Babel. Bootable disk image dot ISO. You don't have to, you can name whatever you want. You don't have to put the dot ISO at the end. I just like to do that. And I'm going to cut and paste this into my local disk just for safekeeping. And now we're going to go ahead and open up Power ISO so we can close this. I'm going to go down here and type in Power ISO and open it. Continue unregistered. Voila! Now, click down on that drop down menu and select data CD forward slash DVD image. Next, oop, go to file, go down to add files and folders. I'm going to go back, select computer, select that. I'm going to select this. And I'm going to copy all these files and I'm going to add them. Okay, that was easy. Next, go to File, Image Properties, and I'm going to name it Driver Pack Solution 12.3 because that's the version, and I like to know the version. Press OK. Back down to Action, go to Boot, type in Add Boot Information and this will give us the opportunity to add in that 3 megabit file that we downloaded, that ISO image. So we're going to go ahead and select on those three dots. We're going to go down to, what the hell is that, anyway. We're going to go down to local disk. Open up driver pack solution 12.3. Oh no, whoops. My mistake. Since it's not here, you see this little drop down menu that we can open up, select it, all files, and select the ISO. Press open. Press OK. And now we're ready to burn. That easy. OK? Uh, now I have a DVD in my hand, a blank DVD, a Sony one. Woo! Pulling out the big guns. I'm going to let that load. I'm going to go down to here. If you can see it, I'm directing the mouse towards here. We're going to open this drop down menu and select DVD. Make sure you do this. Good. Now the autoplay has come up. We're going to get rid of that. And now we're going to press burn. Leave it on current compilation. We want the maximum burning speed. We can verify the written data, but there's no real point. And we're going to burn it. This may take a while. I estimate between 2 to 20 minutes, depending on your computer performance. Uh, since I've actually got a lot of things running in the background, which don't seem visible from here, but I'm downloading other stuff on Steam, it might take me a while. Um, so I'll get back to you and I'll let you know how long it took me. Now, this is successfully finished and my disk has been injected automatically. Ejected, sorry. Oh, it's a burp coming on. And, uh, easy as that. We have now finished burning. Go ahead and press exit. And press that. You don't have to save it. There's no real point. 
unless you're going to burn it again and you'd like to, then go for it by all means. Now I'm going to push the disc back in just to show you what happens. It it generally takes about one to two minutes to oh about no sorry like ten to twenty seconds for the autoplay to come up. Once again, depending on the computer speed and what you've got running, the the process only took me five minutes, and I'm quite happy about that as I'm downloading something off Steam. Uh, there you go, autoplay. This is for Windows Seven, and you go ahead and run it. I think it's developed by some Russian people, which is pretty cool. Driver Pack Solution Twelve. Now what? Now what's it? What it's doing? It is detecting everything in now in my computer, any drives that I can actually update. Uh, as you can see, I reinstalled Windows 18 days ago. It scans my antivirus. It can defragment the hard drive. This is the new one. I can also test the memory, which is great. And I have 13 drives that can be updated. Mm. Go ahead and select update drivers, you don't need any of the other stuff, they're all outdated. You can go ahead and start the installation. More likely than not, uh, it's gonna ask you to reboot the PC. That's fine for me. Um, go ahead and reboot the PC. And then you're done. It's very, very simple, very easy, elegant, and it's a great substitution to um, uh, not having any drives, like uh, and drives DVD. So I hope you enjoyed watching this video. Please give give me a thumbs up if you if this video helped you. Sorry for my poor grammar skills. I'm I'm not much of a talker. I'm more, much more of a typer. And uh, I'll see you soon.